Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing um, an ad well, it's a new addition to our weekly reading, uh, among all the readings that we have. Um, in this reading, we have um, the weekly soulmate reading. Now, I just want to give you guys um, an information on how I would do the reading. Okay, first of all, I'm not an astrologer. That's one thing that you need to understand. This is going to be Rahu base or your north node. Your, wherever your Rahu or your north node is sitting at, okay, this is where the connection will happen, meaning you will get either attracted to their sun or their moon. Now, this Rahu and K2 energy, these are one body that was split into half, okay? Now, for further explanation on that matter, okay, I would suggest go to KRS channel because the person has more knowledge with regards to this um, uh, how to call it, this connection of Rahu and K2. I'm only here to read who is this person and in an extended reading, what is the energy between the two of you. Okay, so this is gonna be for each sign. Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is for the Rahu in Cancer. Okay, so if you don't know your where your Rahu is placed, you can get it for free in any other website or you can also get it from our website. The link is down there. Um, I would advise to watch more of Rahu and Kedu at KRS channel so that you will understand what I'm talking about more. But this is going to identify who is your soulmate. This is Rahu in Cancer. You're going to be attracted to their sun or moon sign. Okay? So Rahu in Cancer. This is who your soulmate is. And then in our extended read, we're going to be seeing the energies interacting between the two of you. We're starting. It's going to be a straightforward message also. Um, very straight. You'll see, okay? So, person that who your soulmate is, um, they can be very, very happy in the sense that they finally found the one. That's how they're feeling it. They found the one. Because here, you have Hermit with the Ace of Cups. They're looking. They found it. They found you. Very good with family matters. In the sense, finances though. Virgo. Virgo energy. All in order. Balance. Day-to-day -day routine this person has. They're good at that. They have either... I'm seeing here because this is family, a mom energy, feminine energy, queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, handles the business. Queen of pentacles with the princess of cups. This person can be, um, because if this is princess, then this is queen, either it's an energy of a granddaughter. So this person that you're connecting with can have a daughter already. Um, but if they have a daughter already, you have your seven of swords, they're, they're cheating, meaning that they're not addressing responsibilities with this kid, with their daughter. If it's not a daughter, because, but no, it has to be a daughter. Queen with the princess of cups over there. Or this person has earth sign, meaning they were with someone who's an earth sign, they had a kid with them. Okay? That's who your soulmate is. This energy is... Well, one, this person is already offering to you. So you guys know each other. Because Ace is here. Once the Ace is here, you guys know each other. Whoever this person is, you're already with them. 
They're in your surrounding, they're in your environment. They have a strong sense of they want to satisfy or they, they re, uh, either they want to satisfy or they don't talk to their mom. They, they can talk to their mom or they don't talk to their mom. Because you have here, there, this is an earth sign, this is an earth sign. But this one is not talking to anybody. They like to party. It's like they don't want to be in their family but they can be with other people. Friends. They can be with friends. But not to their family. Because they always either detach okay so Cancerians or Rahu and Cancerians thank you very much guys for watching I'm gonna continue this reading with the energies connecting between the two of you thank you very much guys for watching bye